Remember Reach is a phrase we've all become extremely familiar with, but is it time to move on from this game we all once cherished, this world that we all called home? Well that's of course the question I'm going to try and answer today, alongside going over where this discussion come from in the first place. But before we can get to all of that, I think we better talk about Reach. This game is of course very special to a lot of people. For some it was their introduction to the Halo series, for others it's the one that they grew up with primarily. And of course I'm no exception, Reach holds a very special place in my heart. And it is a title that despite my gripes with it, I have a lot of nostalgia for. Whether that be for things like the random custom games like teach it or get out of my house that I would play with some of my friends and family, or making terrible forge maps that nobody wanted to play on. Reach is a game that I often forget how much I truly cherish, and again, despite the gripes that I do have with the game, it will be a title that I always love. But of course, that just makes things more confusing. Why would I talk about forgetting a game that I love so much? Why would I want to move on from something that holds such a special place in my heart? And why would anyone else? I mean, Reach is regarded as one of the best multiplayer shooters of all time, even if it did create a huge divide in the fandom. But of course, there's only so many times you can hear the phrase, remember Reach, before it starts to get a little bit tiring. And that really couldn't be more true than it is today. It's become very apparent that there is an over-reliance on Reach nostalgia to help sell current Halo media. Whether that be the abundance of Halo Reach-related events we've had in Halo Infinite, books like Shadows of Reach, or even looking at merchandise like the current 1000 Toys Noble team line that they're releasing. And don't get me wrong, I think these things are cool. It is nice to have these Halo Reach themed events. And the action figures coming out of Noble team look amazing. But I feel as if this Reach nostalgia trade may be nearing the end of its track. And the thing is, it definitely isn't just a recent trend. If we backtrack a couple of years and go back to Halo 5, some of you might remember the release of the Memories of Reach update which of course brought with it the remainder of the Noble Team armor and the Infection game mode, which in comparison to Halo 4's Flood, Halo 5's did feel a bit more in line with the version that we had in Halo Reach. But we also at some point saw the release of the Classic Helmet Pack, which again brought back various Reach helmets. And of course, at the time, this reliance on Reach nostalgia was new, so it didn't feel as repetitive as it does today. At the time, I remember people being very excited for this. But there's only so many times you can bring back the classic Operator helmet and hope that people are still excited for it. Now, fast forwarding to the release of Halo Infinite and looking at its first battle pass, Heroes of Reach, you can see immediately that this game has relied on that nostalgia ever since its launch. Even in Infinite's art style, it almost feels like an evolution of where Reach would have gone. And that's very apparent with the Mark 7 armor, as you can definitely see a lot of similarities to that and the Mark 5B. Even Infinite's AR design resembled the one that we'd seen in Halo Reach very, very closely. But this reoccurrence of Reach Remembrance was not just limited to the game's first season. We would again see Reach play a huge focus in the Winter Update, which kind of acted as a season 2.5. This brought back again various pieces of Reach armor alongside the release of Forge Mode, and it was definitely one of the biggest and best updates Halo Infinite had had. And even over the course of the Winter Update, we saw various Reach-themed events, like Joint Fire and Noble Intentions, which saw even more Halo Reach armor return to the game. And of course, I fully understand the reasoning behind doing this. Oftentimes, one of the best ways to bring players back to your game is, of course, to appeal to the things that they're most interested in. And if Reach Nostalgia helps to sell the product and get more players invested in the game again, I can fully see why 343 and Microsoft would want to take this approach. However, even after the winter update, the Reach events didn't stop there. During the game's fifth season, which would bring some new Flood armor to the game, we also saw various pieces of Reach armor, like EOD, make their way into Halo Infinite. This came alongside things like Firefight, and again, it was a really cool update, but felt like it too heavily focused on Halo Reach. Even the Flood armor was variations of armor pieces from that title. But again, the Reach repetition didn't stop there, as we've just recently had the Fleetcom operation, which brought back armor like Operator, Military Police, and Haunted, alongside new game modes being VIP and Headhunter. Again, a really solid update. But that was immediately followed by the current operation, Champions. Which, despite not really seeming like the theme actually fit in with Halo Reach at all, the new playlist that has released with this event is the Battle for Reach Firefight playlist. 
Personally, I think a mode like Headhunter would have felt much more at home here, and definitely would have fit the theming a lot better. That would also help champions feel like it stood out a bit more, instead of once again relying on this nostalgia. And I feel like these Reach maps, this Reach Firefight playlist, would have felt much better suited for the recent Fleetcom event. Even if we shimmy away from Halo Infinite and have a look over at another modern piece of Halo media, the second series of the Halo TV show, all the marketing around that season, focused on the fall of Reach. Even if the show itself barely actually touched upon it. But the show basically relied on Reach in order to sell the season to viewers. I think the main problem that Halo fans seem to have with this over-reliance on focusing on Reach is that when you have a series that is as large as Halo, when you have so many different games, comics, books, and other pieces of media that you can draw attention to, when the focus is just on one thing, it starts to get stale very quickly, and we've seen this happen before. With Master Chief Collection, when it saw its release on PC and the game started to consistently get updated again, most of the content that was releasing for that game solely focused on Halo 3, and it got to a point where a lot of people were getting tired for it because they wanted to see some of those other games in that collection get some more love and attention. Instead of an equal spread, it was like Halo 3 got about 8 80% of the attention, Halo Reach got about 10%, and the other titles just shared the scraps that were left. And with Infinite, when you look at the amount of events and other things that have released for that game that are focused around Reach, and then compare it to things that had released that pay homage to some of those other parts of the series, it definitely doesn't feel like some of those entries get the love that they deserve. We have had the Halo 3 refueled playlist, and that was a lot of fun. It was cool seeing those Halo 3 maps make their way into the game. And we have seen armor that pays homage to Halo Combat Evolved in the form of the Mark V armor kit. But it would be cool to get some events that pay more attention or have more of a focus on some of those other entries. I know a lot of fans have been begging that 343 do some kind of ODST event, and there is more than enough things that they could do to make that possible. In regards to the armor, we have all of the stuff available in Fireteam Raven. There's the Halo 2 ODST. ODST armor, there's the armor in Halo 3, there's even Halo 4's version of ODST and the Nightfall armor from Halo 5. And this would also be a good way to introduce some new sandbox items like maybe bringing out the suppressed SMG. Even circling this back around to merchandising like we've mentioned earlier on in the video, there is of course that line of Noble Team action figures coming out from 1000 Toys which do look great, but I know so many people would love them to do like an Arbiter action figure, or Sergeant Johnson, or an ODST. I mean hell, I would love some high quality figures of Atriox or Eshram. I of course understand using nostalgia to help sell a product. It's clearly working, it's clearly keeping people invested. A lot of people got very excited for the Fleetcom operation when they showed off the Haunted and Pilot helmets, especially because both of those two that I just mentioned were unlockable for free. And in regards to that armor specifically, that is something that fans had been asking for, so again it does sort of feel like a mutually beneficial exchange, but it does just feel like in regards to this nostalgia fest, every Everything is focused so heavily on Halo Reach, and I know a lot of people just want to see the other Halo titles get anywhere near as much attention. There's just only so many times that you can tell people to remember Reach before some people start to think that maybe it's better off forgotten. But what are my thoughts on this? Do I agree with the sentiment that there is too much Reach content being pushed towards players? Well, for me, it's kind of a mixed bag. On the one hand, I do think it needs to be toned down a little bit more so so we can get more focus on some of those other titles. I would love an operation based on Halo 2 or Halo 3 that maybe brings out a Mark VI armor core, which probably won't happen, but it would be really cool. Or even just some other aspect of the franchise, there's a lot more that they could do to introduce Halo Wars related content to Halo Infinite. And again, talking about like merchandising and extended media, it would be cool to get some more content focused on those other parts of the franchise. Or entirely new stuff. I don't think Reach needs to be forgotten, of course I don't, I've already made it very clear I love that game. But I don't need someone telling me to remember Reach every other week. Anyway, I think with that out of the way, that does wrap up everything I need to say today. I am curious to hear what you all think down in the comments. Do you think this over-reliance on Reach nostalgia is getting too repetitive? Or is it something that helps you keep investing in Halo Infinite and in the series as a whole. Anyways, with that all out of the way, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.